Now, with a growing rate of poverty, the International Women's Society has challenged averagely wealthy Nigerians to imbibe the culture of charity. This, according to them, will not only lift thousands out of penury, it will equally lead to a surplus for the donors. Take it is no longer news that Nigeria for some time now has been branded as the poverty capital of the world, having the largest number of people who live below $2 a day. Part of the effort by federal government to change this narrative is his avowed commitment to take 100 million people away from the index in the next 10 years. For the International Women's Society Nigerian chapter, this is not only the job of the government, but many wealthy Nigerians through charity. You know this thing about um, charity is about numbers. Awesome. Thank you. you cannot and say course, you are giving something to one person and you are, that you are doing charity. We are talking about it in tens of thousands. When you are doing tens of tens of thousands, that's when you know that you are doing charity work. So to that extent, what we used to do before, even la even last year, has tripled, quadrupled significantly this year because we purposefully set out to do so. If you give back to the society, the vices that we are having will be reduced to the barest minimum. And for every woman out there, she believes we should make sure that we help ourselves, we help the needy, we contribute our quota to make sure that the world is a better place to be. The IWS has been at the vanguard of this charitable move in the last three decades, and this is commended. For people who do not have, all of us can chip in something. There is too much poverty in the land, as you can see. People are crying and people are not knowing where to cry to. They can come to IWS. Interestingly, despite differences in many religions of the world, there is a convergence that given to the poor is a virtue that must be imbibed by all. Kao de Ladeinde, STV News.